Trover, Chair Orpion, what took you so long to get back here? What were you, playing with your ding-dong? Yes or no? Ah, you were playing with your ding-dong. That's good. It's healthy, it's natural, it's hot, it's sexy, and it's gonna help prepare you with what I have to tell you right now. A bunch of worlds are all destroyed. You know, th th this device is being powered by the abstainers through the crystal babies. All right, y boss, w w what do the abstainers say? I mean, w what do the abstainers want us to do? We've lost all contact with the abstainers, Trover. The last thing they said to me was the Glorcon was planning to blow up a bunch of planets in the Tarvo galaxy, which is admittedly very, very far away and fairly inconsequential to us, but still, it's it's just a bunch of crazy bullshit. Wait a minute, so all, all he was gonna do was just merge a handful of worlds together? That's a big deal, Trover. This motherfucker merged a bunch of worlds together, and uh, quite frankly, we don't know if he's gonna do it again. I think he probably will. Well, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we gonna do? This guy's this guy played us! That's right, Trover, he played you. I, I've been busy playing cards. Now shut the fuck up. L listen to me, I have a plan. We still have the coordinates to Glorcon's home planet. That's where he's keeping his world merging device. That's where his secret base is, and that's where the crystal babies are. The only problem is the planet is being shielded by a giant, impenetrable force field. All we have to do is shut down the force field. It's easy. Well, how do we do that? What, what the fuck? What, what are we supposed to do? Trover, we gotta blow up Mixed World. Mixed World is powering Gorkon's force field around his secret base planet. You, wanna, you want us to blow up a planet? A bunch of planets that are merged together? Are you fucking serious? You, you hear Trover, yourself? I don't want to hear any more of this out of you. Cherorpian, do you think you're up for this? Oh, yeah, confident, huh? Real confident. You better be. And quit trying to play with your little ding-dong. This is serious. We gotta save the- this localized area of the cosmos. And you're sitting there trying to play with your little ding-dong in here. Anyway, Glorcon just destroyed a handful of worlds, merging them together, and he created one giant mixed world. That's a problem. He's also gonna kill your dogs, Cheerorpion, and the abstainers are gonna die too. I mean, is that enough stakes for us? I mean, you got all that, Trover? You following along here? Yeah, yes, yes, okay, we got it. Okay, on this mixed world, there's a bomb planting site. You're gonna need to plant a bomb in that receptacle. Where the fuck are we, where's this bomb you're talking about? Where, where, where? I'm getting to that, Trover, goddammit, if you let me fucking finish my conversation. In order to get the bomb, you're gonna need to go talk to my good friend, one of the funniest guys I know, comedy guy. He's my best friend, one of my best friends, and he also happens to be a bomb expert. And, and he'll tell some hilarious jokes, He'll lift your spirits. His name is Comedy Guy. He has the bomb. So just whenever you're ready, go ahead and press the button on the telepod and it'll take you to Comedy Guy. And then from there, you'll go to Mixed World. Jesus Christ, what a hot mess. Partner, come on, hit the button. Let's go to Comedy Guy and get this bomb. M maybe we'll hear... Man, this is a bunch of bullshit. I can't believe Glorcon played us like he did. A and all this shit would have happened whether I had been with you or not. I, I, I could have been doing my own thing this whole time, you know? I, mean, I stuck around with you for what? And, and now we gotta blow up a planet? I mean, Jesus Christ. That sounds like what bad guys do, blowing up planets. Uh, all right, look. Let's just check out Comedy Guy's routine, get the bomb, and then go blow up this entire planet. You've seen his light-hearted comedy on Fleam Shack. No, you know him from his silly, family-friendly prop comedy masterpiece, Floppy Props. And he's been a regular on David Letterman for years. Let's give a warm round of applause to Comedy Guy! Oh my god! He hung himself! You know, he, he always joked about it, but I just thought he was doing a bit. Jeez, do you know how fucking hard this has been for me and, and now I have to deal with this? What, what, what am I, the, the guy from 127 Hours? Did you see that movie? The guy got the shaft, big rock fell on his arm. This is 127 hours, plus an extra hour. 128 hours of me getting screwed. We were supposed to get a bomb. We were supposed to pick up a bomb from this guy. Where is the bomb? Oh my god, you know, th this isn't my fight. I, di I didn't start this shit. I I I Holy shit, it's the bomb. There it is. There's the freaking bomb. L let's get it and get the hell out of here. Partner, please, just let's go. Just get me in the telepod, please. I want to get the fuck out of here. This isn't my war! Fuck this! I just wanted to get high off of some power babies! And, and, and now this? 
I'm like Swan D over here. The, you know, the, the, the guy that was arrested for a little too much pep in his step? The guy did jack shit. He just skipped across the street. This is bullshit. His name was Swan Z. Look, partner, I, I don't know how to say this, but I can't do this anymore, okay? Once we blow up this planet, I'm 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 striking out. I'm getting the fuck out. I'm not going to Glorkon Superbase. I I I I, lo I care about you and 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 I really I want you to succeed and I think you will. But but you're doing it without me because he probably just ripped my fucking head off. Are you kidding? He, he you saw what he did. He played us. And, and I'll help you. And we're gonna do this last thing together. And then it's bon voyage for me. You know we'll, we'll, we'll watch this place blow up from space. And I'm gonna go to empty peepers. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hire a couple of hookers. Listen, I'm sorry, partner. Uh, are, are, are you cool with this? Is this okay with you? You understand, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, I figured you'd say that, partner. So that's why I've really grown to care about you. You know. And uh, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I I, I got to. I just got to. I mean, I gotta get the fuck out of here. You know. But we'll do your thing, we'll, we'll blow this place up, and then you'll, you'll probably get reassigned a new partner. Alright, partner. W one last level, you and me, for, for old times' sake, huh? Oh my god, your world's one of the worlds that got mixed up? Now I feel really bad that I'm leaving you behind, partner, but I gotta do what's right for me, you know? I, I'm i pretty sure you'll get through this whole thing with or without me, you know? Who needs me, right? I, I, I was never important to this whole thing anyways. What are you thinking about right now? I don't know, I'm just thinking about, uh, how much I like this world. It's all mixed up. That's not what you were really thinking about. I could tell. You're lying to me. No, I'm not. I'm telling the truth. I was thinking about how I like this mixed up, crazy, topsy-turvy world right now. No, you're not. You were thinking about how you want to stuff your leg up my ass. How did you know that's what I was thinking about? I caught you in a lie. You want to stuff your leg all the way up my ass. Yeah, I do. I do, actually. I was too shy to tell you. Now, you don't have to be shy about that. We're buddies. We're, we're, we're clones. You know, we're, we're the same thing, basically. So go ahead. You can stick your entire foot up, your whole leg up my ass. Go ahead. Well, hold on. If I stick my leg up your ass, does that mean you're going to want to stick your leg up my ass? <laughs> you know it. If you stick your leg up my ass, then I'm only letting you do it so I can stick my leg up your ass. Ugh. Well, then now I need to think about it because I, I wasn't thinking about I'd want a leg up my ass. Come on, we're clones. We're supposed to be the same kind of... Same thing. I thought you would be the same thing as me. Man, I just wanted to see what it would feel like to have my leg up some up someone's ass. You know, all the way all the way to the the upper thigh. That's all I wanted. Sounds like this whole leg up the ass thing isn't gonna happen. Cause you won't agree to let me do it to you. So why don't we just just do our jobs, which is supposed to be looking for that chair opening and trover in case they show up. You know. Which is probably not gonna happen, because they're on the other side of this mixed world. Yeah, let's just be quiet and just think about what it would be like if our legs were up each other's asses. Oh, you fucking oh. 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 Well, look who we have here. Lorcon said you two might show up. He said we could kill you. He left the killing to us. We're gonna fucking murder you. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Fucking oh. shit. Oh. Okay, we're done with that. Let's move. You, you know, you know, you're gonna be fine without me. You know, I know Boss will partner you up with the new eyehole monster. You know, there's Schlover. Oh, wonderful! Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is here. We're, gonna take, we're gonna make sure that you guys don't get any further down. Whatever the fuck they're trying to do.
Let's go. That's, that's got to be it. Anyways, like I was saying, you know, there's Schlover, the trans uh, uh, eye hole monster, voiced by an actual trans person. No, no, uh, no, no, no messing around there. There's other eye hole monsters. M remember the pink eye hole monster we saw when Glorcon merged all the worlds together? You know, there, there, there's Dover. He, he, he's uh, he's green colored. He, he's an eye hole monster. The guy, the guy's great. He's amazing. He's a karate expert. But guess what? Big twist. He's Irish. Also voiced by an actual authentic Irish person. I'm very proud of that. Um, Boss could also potentially partner you up with Lover, who's uh, a lot like me, but African American and funny and witty and has all these great. Con Wait, ho hold hold on a second. All right, partner, you got this. You can figure this out. I uh, I'm not. Well, look out! It's a bunch of bullshit. I've okay, been trapped in there for the a fuck? week. You guys are dead. I spent the entire time I was stuck in there thinking about a movie idea. You guys are dead. I'm super genetically modified clone. My armor makes me stronger, faster, and incapable of falling in love. At least, I thought I was. Coming this summer from Froppy Pictures is a story about a smoking hot blind mom who's helping this monster see that the only thing scarier than himself is not being in love. I love you, Martha. I love you too, Gary. Coming this summer from Froppy Pictures. Blind monster... Whoa, what the hell? You're doing it, partner. We're having some fun together on this last level that we're gonna be together on. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm out of here after this. Can't make it clear enough. Shit, partner, the thing we gotta plant the bomb into, it's across the lake. Fuck, there, there's gotta be some way over there. Jesus Christ, look at them. Look at those little merged characters. Just like this merged world. It's an atrocity. Fucking horrible. Let's, 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 let's go. Let's plant this fucking bomb and blow this place up, partner. Let's do it. You and me. One last mission together, you know? Hey, what in the goddamn hell? How did those two get over here? We gotta murder them. I thought we'll be very ashamed if, you know, if, if they find out that these two are, 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 are around these parts. in buttholes. I don't want to be in any more buttholes, you know? So can, there's got to be another way across the lake. I'm sure of it. Uh, maybe not. Maybe there's some other way we can get across the lake. I, I just don't want to go inside a butthole. Oh, son of a bitch! Ah. Hey, you know what? It's not too bad down here. It smells like my grandpa. You know what? I, and I kind of like that. I guess I was wrong. Let, let's, let's get a move on through this dirty, dusty butthole. All right, I hope this is uh, I hope this is the right way because we are in a butthole right now All right, you know what? We're gonna make the best of this. We're gonna have fun We're gonna have a good time down here as we make our way forward can't see you. It's really dark Or I'm blind. I think I'm blind. I think I went blind. Or it's dark in here. It's fucking guys. dark in here. Relax. Marco. Marco. No, I say you say Polo. I'm gonna say Marco. No, I want to say Marco and you say Polo. All right, fine. Look who it is. It's dummy and dummy. We're gonna kill the both of you. You're dead. Splitting ways after this, so let's have a good time here for, for this last level that we're gonna be together. Let's get some funny jokes in. What did the wrinkly old dick say to the massive plump butt cheeks? Spread them, spread out. That's a good one, huh? It makes me laugh every time I hear it. What do you get when you mix a cherorpion and a glass blower? A stupid, ugly, dumb fuck who knows how to blow glass. Hey, hey, I'm just kidding. We're having fun here, huh? This is fun. 
My mom told me I could be anything, so I put her heels on and told her to go clean her room. She grounded me. You think blind people know it's pink lemonade? Murder is a lot like clipping your toenails. Nobody wants you to do it in their bed, but sometimes you have to. Why would a pimp make a good firefighter? Because they know how to work the hose. Jesus Christ! What garbage joke book did we get these from? This isn't even fun anymore. I mean, I'm sorry your entire world got destroyed, but, but, what, but why do we have to suffer? What did the baby say to the eye hole? Spread them. I'm just rewording old jokes at this point. If you, if you want to hear comedy routine, go to a Netflix special or something. I'm not just some monkey that's here to entertain you the whole time. What the fuck? No, this is Empty Peepers. No, no, what? this can't be. No, Empty Peepers is on my home world. This means my world got mixed up too. What the fuck? No, well, it's not supposed to be here. Oh my God, Empty Peepers. My home world is gone! Oh my god, Angela, the waitress is dead! She was such a good waitress! She didn't even care if we didn't tip her! This is all Glorcon's fault! This is empty peepers! This is the fucking place! This is where I go! Everyone's dead! It's a, f a massacre! Oh my god, it's... It's Ralph! We used to make plastic explosives together! We, we, we didn't even know what we were doing! We would just get a bucket of gasoline and dump styrofoam into it! And, and, and we'd play with it! He's dead! Oh my god! Empty peepers! Tobias! My mute hairstylist! He's dead! That guy was the best! He, he cut my hair just the way I wanted! He charged me 25 bucks and that included the tip! And he never tried to start small talk because he saw dead bodies when he was a kid! And he hasn't been able to speak since! Now, now where the hell am I going to find another barber like that? He did a perfect cut every t time! My neighbor Candace, who had a big old grandpa dangly dick for her nose, and in order to in order to eat, she had to tilt her head and to the side and, and just a little bit to get the dick out of her way. She was a good-looking girl too, but it was like, man, why don't why don't you just get that thing removed? You know, nose jobs aren't that uncommon. Not that it matters anymore because she's dead now, along with everybody from my home planet. Optometrist Ginger! She cleaned out my eye holes after they got infected from using dirty green power babies! Now what am I supposed to do? Get high off of old sterile power babies? Like some fucking loser? <laughs> Murphy's Bakery is gone! I love that place! It was naughty. It was a naughty little donut shop that made the most delectable danishes. It also doubled as an elderly trafficking ring. They'd snatch up your shriveled schnoodle nana and put her to work. Was it ethical? No. Did it make their basement smell like a used urinal cake? Yes. Was it all worth it for the danishes? Yes, it was. But it's gone now. It's all gone. Everyone's dead. Rabbi Brodick! He's dead now too! We, we we peed in the water balloons and chucked him at old zoo animals! He said it felt good! I don't know if he meant sexually or what, but he sure enjoyed doing it and he's dead now too! Oh my god! Oh, I'm reeling! I'm reeling! Oh, oh my god, I can't even wrap my head around this! The guy that bagged my groceries! The one with the sideburns, what, what was his name? Patrice? He had the best sideburns, and he's dead now. It was like he ripped off Wilford Brimley's mustache and attached him to the side of it, the sides of his head. Everyone's gone. I, I, I can't even handle this. Phil Faskin. I don't know why that guy just popped into my head. I, I, I never really was that close to him, but he's dead now. Phil. Phil! 
Gladys is dead now, too! I mean, she was bound to die any minute, but still, she didn't deserve to be wiped off the planet like that! She deserved to die alone in her car, like she was supposed to! We locked her in there! No air, no food, no water! Jesus Christ! Fuck! Oh my god, Doug! Doug, my sworn enemy! The scum of the earth! He unscrewed the Parmesan shaker so that when I used it, it went everywhere! Son of a bitch, ruined my ravioli! My lobster ravioli! It was the special of that night, too! It was $25.99 and he ruined it! After that day, I swore on a stack of nudie mags that I'd get my revenge on Doug, and Glorcon took that away from me! Also, I can't prove this, but I think Doug was telling people that I've been soliciting oral sex to na naive tourists! Have you heard about that? It's total bullshit, just so you know! Now all those tourists are dead! Everyone's dead, even Doug is dead! Oh my god, I, I, I'm, I'm upset! This is hurts! It hurts! Aaron, the bus boy at Empty Peepers! Or would she be the bus girl? Whatever, she bussed tables and I loved her! We were gonna move to the country together! I'd work the land and she'd tend to the house. We'd grow old together. Until late one evening, I'd return home to find her in bed with Dennis. And I'm into it. I mean, really. I mean, really into it. Maybe too into it. I'm doing her this way. Dennis is doing me that way. And we're all covered in cock snot. But none of that matters now because she's dead. Dennis is dead too. It's all because of Glorcon. Oh my God, I can't even, I can't even, I'm not, I'm, I can't calm down. Oh my god, I just realized that everyone that's closest to me is dead. Then who could I be openly spacist around? I'm not saying that I am, because I'm not. But you know, being ironically spacist, a good kinkle joke every now and again doesn't hurt anybody. Like, what did one kinkle say to the other kinkle during sex? I like cottage cheese and I deserve to die, get it? Because they're kinkles. God, see, this is what I'm talking about. I can't even say this stuff around other people. Frumpies! There's no more Frumpies now! You ever been there? You shop there much? It's a clothing store that has no hangers! Nothing's hung up! Just all thrown into piles on the ground! It's the best! You gotta check it out! What? You can't check it out! All the clothes I owned I got from Frumpies! It's gone now! Fuck! I can't fucking handle this! My god, I can't return that bladeless blender now! The damn thing is just a picture! I don't even know why I bought it to begin with! I kept the receipt and everything, it was, it was ready to go! It was all boxed up, and now I'll ever be able to return it! God damn it! Oh my god, I also never got to use that punch card for one of the free meals at Tony's Tatas! You know what I'm talking about? The chain restaurant, where, where men with I, the ideal bodies and low-cut khaki serve you food and say things like, hot enough for you? Do you know how many hot man ham hoagies I had to eat in order to get that free meal? Now it's worthless! Oh my god, I'm spinning! My head's spinning right now! Fuck, I just realized I'm not gonna be able to catch the last season of Naked and Hard! Have you seen it? It's a reality show where they strip down two dudes and stiffen up their dinky dinkles. Then drop them off on a deserted island. First dinkle to shrinkle loses. Can you imagine that? Trying to survive all the natural elements while maintaining a daddy dinkle? And now I won't even be able to see who wins a million bucks thanks to that fucking son of a bitch Glorcon. I had space money on that. Oh my god! I'll also never get the chance to meet my biological parents! That's right, I'm an orphan! I don't know if it's too late in the game to be revealing this, but I am! I'm an orphan! Also, I know how to play the clarinet, which you'll never get to witness, because Glorcon fucking ruined everything, and I only play the clarinet when I'm happy and feeling alright! And I'm really good at it, too! I can fucking really kill it on the clarinet!
You'll never get to witness my band, Pocket Lady Cramps. We, 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 we were gonna be huge. We sounded like nothing you'd ever heard before. We were like new wave reggae mixed with country and rock and roll and a toddler struggling to pinch one off. And a little bit of gospel music, bluegrass, your grandma's pull out bed, a lactose intolerant man drinking milk, flip flops being worn in a clogged shower, and a tired mother going down on a dry water slide. And that's what our band sounded like. Well that mixed with R&B, New Jack Swing, Sunburnt Siamese twins, a truck driver eating spaghetti on the open road, pop music, four co-workers with amnesia singing happy birthday to each other. <laughs> Hold on. Four co-workers with amnesia singing happy birthday to each other, 1920s jazz, a female deer desperately wanting you to call her back, an Asian woman realizing her farts smell like the inside of a pumpkin, alternative <laughs> Uh, okay. Mixed with alternative rock, soul music, a black man finishing a good book, keys being locked in a hot car, electronic dance, and a wealthy white man unwillingly egging his own house. But you know, at the end of the day, we just wanted to keep it simple and make good music. I almost forgot about my collection of Dad Pants magazine. Gone! Those fatherly fashion mags were the one thing that made me whole. They made me who I am. I wouldn't even will them to my unborn child. I'd rather see the world's greatest teacher light on fire and catapult into a classroom filled with kerosene than to have my Dad Pants magazine collection destroyed. Capiche? I'm trying to say I'm not happy about this. These are all things that really hurt me. Hey, what the hell? What, what are you doing here? How the hell are you guys still around? Get him! We gotta kill him! Fucking kill him. all these guys! <laughs> Fuck you! Fucking burn my body, motherfuckers! Doing here? How the hell are you guys still around? We gotta kill him. Kill all these guys! Oh, you're gonna fucking die now. Just place the bomb in the receptacle. Oh my god, I feel lightheaded right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, good, you got the bomb in there, all right. Let's keep moving, let's get the fuck out of here. It's gonna blow up at some point. I, I, it's on some kind of self-timer thing, I don't know. Oh my god, oh, Jesus Christ. I feel sick. I don't feel good right now. You don't understand what I'm going through.
man, you really think that, uh, that Chorpion and the, uh, little purple eye hole monster are gonna make it way the fuck over here on the other side of this mixed world that Glorcon created? Man, I don't know. What do I look like? Uh, Houdini? Mr. Uh, knower of all stuff? Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. You should be sorry. Fucking bullshit. You pissed me off when you fucking put me on the, on the block like that. Hey man, don't talk about blocks. What do you mean, don't talk about blocks? I mean, that's disrespectful to all my friends. I had a lot of friends that are blocks. Are you talking about your fucking toy blocks? Yeah, I am. Well, listen, you shouldn't talk about talking like that. Because when you talk about talking and like that. It's fucking disrespectful to everyone who talks. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Just take it easy. Everyone just take it easy. What do you mean everyone? There's just you and me. I mean you and me. Let's just take it easy. Oh man, I, I've been wanting to take it easy ever since we got positioned, potioned, stationed here. I mean, yeah, me too. I just want to take it easy, man. I just want to chill and hopefully we won't have to see any combat, you know? Yeah, man, I just want to chill out. Uh Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, what are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. I'm pretending like I'm sucking a big carrot. Like, deep throating a carrot. Man, that's cool. Yeah, I know there's not even a carrot here either, so I'm pretending to do it. Man, that's cool. Here, hold my hand. No, I don't want to hold your hand. That's gross. Why? We're the same. We're like... We're like related. We're brother and sister. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not your sister and I'm not your brother. I'm your clone partner. All right, fine, we're clone partners. You're right, we shouldn't hold hands. All right, anyways, let's just be quiet and hang out and chill out. <laughs> fuck, kill you. Ah, fuck you. Ah. Fucking sons of bitches. You know what, fuck it, forget it. I'm sick of remembering all this! What the fuck?! I'm coming after your fucking ass. Oh, this! Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, what the fuck?! Shit! Oh. Fucking fuck! Oh. 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 That's it, Dig a little hole over here. You want to dig Jesus. a hole? Shit! Uh, fuck you! This fucking guy, uh, goddamn it! Fuck you! Fucking son of a bitch! Uh, uh, fucking uh, uh, kill him! Uh, son of a fucking uh, bitch! Lord God, piece of shit! Uh, fuck this bullshit! Yeah, I'm pissed now. I'm hey, fucking invested in this uh, shit. Uh, I'm invested uh, in this bullshit now. Yo. My fucking people are dead. Fucking piss! Work on son of a fuck! Oh, 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 piece of shit! Oh, my nipples oh, are still not fuck pierced. Fuck Glorcon! Oh. I'm going with you, partner. We're gonna blow this fucking planet up, and we're going to Glorcon's home base, and we're gonna fucking kill him. Now I just need to calm down. Just, I just, I just kind of processed a lot of stuff. Kind of just, I just need a moment, just to be quiet. Mourn the loss of my planet and all my, all the, all the eye hole monsters on it. You know, partner, sort of fill you in on what I was thinking back there. When I found out that Glorcon wasn't going to destroy the whole cosmos, I, I was sort of thinking, you know, shit, this is this is my ticket out of here, you know? I, I don't need to worry about this. And when I saw that my whole planet was also clumped up with this other world and destroyed and everyone I know and love is dead, I mean, that kind of really sort of turned the key for me. So, not to state the obvious, I mean, we, we, we both just did all this together. I mean, you already know this. So you and me, partner, we're gonna fucking save your dogs. We're gonna avenge the death of my planet and all the people I knew. And I'm gonna fucking murder this Glorcon guy. You're gonna help me do it, partner. Let's have a moment of quiet, cause we're almost there. And I'm fucking pumped. Any second now, this place is gonna blow. You ever play Tonky? That's where you rip someone's head off, and you just kick it around. Just kick it around like some- Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh fuck! Oh Jesus Christ! There it goes! Wow, that- that gave me a startle. This must have taken a long time to animate all this. Hey you guys, good work. You blew up Mixed World. Took care of that business. Guarantee you... Uh, Glorcon didn't see that coming. Anyways, 
How was Comedy Guy? I didn't get to ask you about that. How great was he, right? Comedy Guy's the best. I can't tell you how much I cherish that man. He is a gift. He really is. He's a gift to all people. Wait, 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 what? You, you guys are acting weird when I talk about Comedy Guy. What's what's going on? Uh, nothing. He's he's great. He's Comedy Guy really was the best. Is that so? Uh, Chair Orpian, what, what, what did you think of Comedy Guy? Is Trover telling the truth? Was he pretty great? Yeah, no, he is great. He is a lovable comedic character. I love him. Love him a lot. Anyways, anyways, I was able to triangulate the coordinates to, uh, it'll take you right to the inside of Glorcon's base. You guys have done good. You really worked hard. Chair Orpian, you impressed me. All right, you ready for this? We're gonna go in there and we're gonna do it together, partner. It's all locked up. Of course we weren't gonna be able to just walk in Guys, here and- listen, Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. About, uh, hold on, this for days. I hear just something. Looking at these, these images of Glurkon's true love and analyzing the eight buttholes and the seven vaginas and the 17 rock hard penises. Uh, it's enough already. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe we should, you know, keep patrolling this room. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't stop looking at it. I just can't stop looking at it. It's, it's, I find myself to, oddly attracted to this giant mound of flesh. On, listen, guys, we got to get serious. We can't just stand here and stare at this thing. We should probably be patrolling every square corner of this room that we are currently in, just in case the Chirorpian and the purple character show up. Glorcon told us they might be on their way here. I don't care what Glorcon said. Look, call me a Glorcon clone. Call me somebody who shares Glorcon's DNA. But I'm, little, I'm sitting here looking at this sex beast creature, and I'm getting, I'm getting all riled up, you know. And I, I, I'm having a good time interpreting this, this, this image. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right. I'm just gonna hang out here. We'll, we'll, let's all just look at the picture as long as we all agree to be quiet, so we can all have our own intimate experience and moments. With, with with this with while looking at this art. Okay, I, I I agree. I opt into this agreement to be quiet. I agree as well. I'll just stare at this Shut art. Up. Trying to look at the art. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll be quiet now. Okay, everyone, just be quiet. You be quiet. We're all gonna be quiet. Okay, starting now. Okay, there's gotta be a way in this place. Look around for something. <laughs> Come on, partner. This isn't our first day at the rodeo. Partner, I know you. I know you. I know you're gonna figure this out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna back off and let you do your thing. Shit, there they, they are. are. They're, They're here. here. Certificate. I'm gonna do it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Fuck, we're gonna stop him. Man, would you take a look at that? Glorcon's true love. Huh, can't really see all the dicks or any of the boobies or, you know, the buttholes from this angle of the artistic rendering, but I can see enough to make a judgment call. What do you think, partner? You, you uh, you attracted to that? Oh my god, really? You gotta be kidding me, partner! You gotta be fucking kidding me! If I was gonna merge a bunch of worlds together and cause all this havoc, I'd need at least a hundred more rock-hard, diamond-cutting dicks, at least ten more boobies, testicle sacks with three testicles in them, twelve more vaginas, fifty-seven tight buttholes, a bunch of man nipples everywhere all over it, more hair on the sides. Anyways, let's get moving. We gotta kill this son of a bitch. We gotta murder Glorcon and get your dogs back. We're at the end of the game. Hey, what the hell? I was listening to my music. Get out of my room. You guys shouldn't be in my room. This is my room. What? What are you talking about? Where the fuck is Glorcon? Are we on the right path? Are we heading towards Glorcon? Get the fuck out of my room! You don't know what it's like to be a Glorcon clone! You don't know how hard it is at- Ow, hey! Don't throw balls at me! That's not cool! You don't know Whoa! how hard it is Whoa! Alright! The electricity sparks are, uh, lethal! That's good for us! I was sick of listening to that! Okay, let's- let's keep going! We gotta figure out- 
gotta get this door open. That's one step closer to Glorcon and this and Meek slitting his fucking throat open. Shit, partner, I think this might be it. And we're gonna get your dogs back, and everything's gonna be saved, and we're gonna save the whole universe. And 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 I love you, partner. I didn't want to say that before, you know? I know that's a lot to say. I love you. It's a it's a big thing to drop on a partner. I love you, partner. Anyways, whoo, boy. It's a long hallway here. This is a long fucking hallway. Oh, there's the exit. Okay, we're here. Well, well, well. It's Trover and the Cherorpion. You dare fucking what? enter my chamber? My special chamber? That's right, you piece of shit. You fucking murdered everybody. You murdered my home world. I murdered all kinds of things, and I don't give a shit. I had my good reasons for You're it. You're a fucking pervert. You're a sicko. I'm not a pervert or a sicko. I'm a hopeless romantic is what I am. We're gonna murder you is what you are. Unlikely. I've saved my best Glorcon clones to protect me here in my inner sanctum. Glorcon clones, attack! Oh shit! We gotta kill him! Come on, partner! I knew I was in love. I couldn't stop obsessing about that path of the future. And I knew the only way that it would come into existence is if I manifested it by breaking free from the abstainers, merging worlds, bringing life to my true love, my giant. 12 buttholes, 7 vagina, beautiful flesh beast of love. You fucking fucked it all up by destroying the merged planet. Now I have to find other planets and merge them together. It's gonna cost my true love at least two buttholes. That's fine, my true love will be a little bit different, but at least my true love will still have all those diamond hard penises. All 18 of them. Diamond hard, rock hard penises. Always hard. Never get soft. Actual bones inside of them. That's why I'm merging these worlds in the specific way that I am. Because once these worlds are merged, and those worlds are merged, then I'm gonna get some life from those worlds, and cross-pollinate it with life from these worlds, and then merge a couple of more worlds. And before you know it, one, two, three, my true love is here. And my true love is ready to go. Ready to support me. Ready to care about me. Ready to love me in a wholesome and comforting way that I've never felt. And also, those 18 rock-hard penises and 13 vaginas. Who's gonna turn their nose up at that? That's just the icing on the cake. Because my true love is thoughtful, deep, affectionate, pink-skinned, and knows how to move those hips. All 15 of them. And also consistently wet and dry in the places that you'd like them to. Like on the balls. You realize you've murdered countless millions of of of, 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 of creatures. That was gonna happen anyways. Comets hit planets. Go cry about it. I'm doing what I have to do. And you two dip fuck! What the fuck? Why are the why are the pylon shields off? Glorcon clones! What's going on? Glorcon, we don't know. We're working on it. We, we we're not sure what happened. There's been some sort of God damn it, you fucking cl go goddamn clones! What the fuck? We gotta up our game! Holy shit, partner! We're getting to him! We're getting to him! Come on! What are you doing? Use the warp node! Fucking idiots. This is this 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 chamber is so much more difficult than the first chamber. This is my fallback safety fuck chamber in case of emergency. And now you're fucked. Because I've got extra more difficult Glorcon clones. And there's no fucking way you're gonna be able to take out your pylons, then power my fucking protective shield that protects me. And you're fucking dead. Now, I'd like to talk a little bit more about my one true love. Yeah, partner, there's gotta be a way to do this. I swear to God, I, I, I have a feeling it's sort of building on what we just did in that last room. There's gotta be another one or two of those fucking power orbs in here. Fuck you, you little shitbags. There's no fucking you. power orbs. And Glorcon clones, I swear to God, if anyone 
accidentally drops a power orb in here, I will have you personally executed. Keep power orbs in the power orb section of the castle. You understand? Uh, no power orbs will be entered into this part of the of the castle right now. Uh, we have our best clones currently moving the power orbs into another section of the castle. Oh shit! I, I hit the wrong lever. Uh, there goes another orb. God damn it! You fucking idiots! Fucking Glorcon clones! I imbued you with super intelligence. What is going on here? Fuck! This is Trover, Cherorpion, don't fucking touch that goddamn orb. Glorcon clones, protect that power orb. Don't let him fuck with it. Kill Trover. Kill the Cherorpion. But Trover first. It's important. Since you guys are here and you're about to die, there's no reason for me to be all angry. I mean, I'm about to get what I want, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just talk to you like I would talk to you. some the of the Glorcon clones I hang out with in between working on creating the existence of my one true love. And you know, some of the stuff you talk about is like, uh, you guys ever you guys ever heard of Clonefeld? Clonefeld? I, I I actually cloned some Glorcon clones, and I said. Go, go start it. There's a whole wing to this castle. Go start a studio. Green screen, you know, build sets. Make me some TV. And one of the first things they did was Clonefeld. I am getting sued up my ass right now for Clonefeld. Why? Why do you idiots keep dropping these orbs into the pipes? Keep dropping the orbs. You got it, boss. Turn the pipes off. Don't use them at all. Why do we even have this system? I'm really sorry, uh, uh, Clonef. I, I, I deeply apologize. I don't know what happened there. Shut the fuck up. Fucking idiots. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna clear my head behind my protective shield. I'm safe. We're gonna kill these idiots. This is absurd that we even let them come this far. I just wanna think about my one true love. That kinda centers me. Oh, my one true love. What we will do together. We're gonna go to the beach. Crazy alien beach resort. They're gonna have a giant blanket. I'm gonna make sure of it. Giant terry cloth towel. We're gonna lay it on the beach. Back the truck hey, up. The load my one true love. Make sure the truck is nice and greased up so. My one true love slips right out as the truck lifts up and dumps my one true love onto the massive terry cloth towel that'll be on the beach. And that's when we'll order our drinks. And we'll cheers them. And we'll have a giant umbrella, beach umbrella. And then we'll just talk about the future. How many kids do you want to have? Oh, I don't know. How many kids do you want to have? Is the sand bothering you right now, babe? Yes, it is, sweetie. I'll lick it off of you. And then I'll lick the sand off. God, it's actually everywhere, but why does it taste like sugar? Why does it taste so delicious, and why am I swallowing it all? Because we're on the beaches of Glucosis, with the sugariest sand of any world. And by the way, guess where that world came from? Me. I created it by merging a bunch of worlds together. You fucking idiots. You think your piddly little fucking shit is more important than my fucking future that I'm... Whoa, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? No! You've gotta be fucking kidding me! Fucking Glorcon clones! Up your Don't fucking game! really fucked. This is my most treacherous chamber of all. Partner, we gotta... Ugh, son of a bitch. Partner, try to get your dog. Fuck, <laughs> God damn it! fuck. No, no, shit. Partner, we're doing it. Uh... Partner, try to grab one of your dogs. Uh... No, no, you've got to be fucking kidding me. God damn it, you weren't supposed to get this far. The toughest Glorcon clones I've ever made. I saved them for this room. Fucking their fuck hit points their are out of control. <laughs> fucking crazy. The level of difficulty is wild in here. These Glorcon clones are fucked. fucked now. Oh, my one true love, please. I will, I will, I will, I will see you in the future. I will, I will. Fucking Glorcon clones, up your fucking game. 
can't believe how stupid you guys are. Away in their special power orb section of the castle. So I just want to let you know that's happened. Hey boss, they told me to bring an orb in. Oh, where do you want it? Oh, what the fuck? No more orbs. No, get the orb out of here. That's it. Enough with this fucking Glorcon clone of competence. You're all dead. If I see a fucking Glorcon clone into this room, I will fucking personally kill them myself. As for you, purple eyehole monster, if you want something done right, you gotta do it your fucking self. <laughs> How about that, Chair Orpian? You fucking idiot. Now your little purple friend is dead. Ripped his fucking head off. Look at your partner. I want you to look at the gore that I just created. I created a gory scene with your partner on the ground. And I don't fucking need to sit here and... Oh, look at you. You're sick. You're gonna fucking play with your best friend's dead corpse? You're a sick fuck. You're gonna fucking flop it around? What is wrong with you? Why would you do that? Anyway, wh wh where was I? <laughs> and I don't fucking need to sit here and fucking worry about you or worry about anything else, because I can just handle this shit on my own. I'm incredibly powerful, and I don't know why I was leaning on these stupid Glorcon clones this whole time. They're the worst. You gotta be fucking kidding me, you fucking sociopath. You fucking used your friend's decapitated head to take the shields down around my world-merging machine? The fuck is the matter with you? That's fucking disgusting and sick. Okay, so listen, I'm gonna pick up where I left off. Um, I'm incredibly powerful, and I don't know why I was... Oh, ow, fuck, god damn it. Oh, that fucking hurt. Son of a bitch, that fucking hurt. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, oh, the fucking abstainers. Ah, oh, god damn it. Don't throw that other crystal baby in my eye. You don't know what it'll do. You don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what it'll do if you reunite us this way. You fucking idiot. You fucking dum dum. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, 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 my back. Oh, I'm gonna need some pain medicine after this. Oh, I think I just threw my back out trying to get my arms up. Fuck. Ah, oh, can't move. My fucking arms! Ugh. Fucking... Fuck you! Fuck... Fuck all of you! No! No, I fucking don't... I don't give a shit! No, I didn't shit in the fucking pool! No! It's not even a real pool, it was one of those plastic, shitty, inflatable ones! And maybe I did shit in it! Ugh. Fuck! No, I don't care! I want out! I don't want to hear your voices in my head! Ugh, I'm fucking gonna get that goddamn thing out! I gotta get this fucking crystal baby out! Oh, fuck, I can't move my body! I can't move my fucking body! You Cherorpian, you fucking cocksucker, you fucked me, you fucking... God damn it. No, I want your love. No. Oh, Xenus, you know, L. Ron Hubbard, Xenu, Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints, fucking Jehovah's Witness. Oh, God. Oh, fuck Moses, the ghost, the, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, fuck Zip, fucking Zithnab, Michael, Michael Zithnab. Oh, I can't fucking move my arms. Can't move me arms. Can't move my little baby arms. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, fuck. I can't move. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck. I can't move my arms. I can't move my fucking arms. Fuck you. Fuck you. No. Don't you tell me that. I. I. This is. I'm gonna. I, I. I refuse to stop. I refuse to believe. I refuse to stop believing. No. Fuck you. That's this bullshit. I can't move my arms. I gotta get this crystal baby out of my eye. I don't wanna hear your voices. You're. Fuck you. Fuck you! Fuck, I can't move my arms! I can't move my fucking arms! Fuck you! Fuck you, no! Don't you tell me that! I, I, this is, I'm gonna, I, I, I refuse to stop! I refuse to believe! I refuse to stop believing! No, fuck you! That's this bullshit! I can't move my arms! I gotta get this crystal baby out of my eye! No! No! This isn't supposed to happen! My one true love! No! All the dicks and buttholes! Oh! <laughs> On tonight's broadcast, love, happiness, and euphoria. Chills of absolute pure bliss running down your body. That's on tonight's forecast for today. 
You're watching the All the Time channel. This is the All the Time show. Oh, ah. Uh, you feel that euphoric feeling? Oh, ah. Uh, we're all united. We're all connected. We're all one. Mm, oh, man. Oh, Job. Oh. Oh, man, I'm feeling it all up and down my little baby spine. Oh, 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 oh. all right. We're going to go to test pattern for a little bit. Because I got to, listen, who cares, you know? Everything's cool. We're going to go to test pattern. We'll come back in a little bit. Oh, yeah. This is Jeff. Call me back. Partner, it's me! It's Trover! Oh my god! You have no idea what's going on! I mean, holy crap! I f I, let me tell you something. I feel like a gazillion bucks right now. My whole body is all tingly. I feel all euphoric and... Oh god, you feel that? There's your little pup-pup guys. You're reunited with them. They love you. We're all together, man. Here, I'll let the boss tell you. He's right outside. Come on! Caribbean, come out here. I'm gonna tell you a little something-something. I'm cool. I'm cool. I got my shit together. I want to tell you something. Oh, oh, God, I feel euphoric. Oh, Jesus Christ. Everything's euphoric, partner. Come on. This is great. Trover. Oh, Cherorpian. Oh, my God. I feel so good. Everyone's dead. The entire universe, the whole cosmos. You killed everyone, but it's great because everyone's here. Everyone's happy. This place, it just feels good to be here. Everyone's united. We're all on the same page. There's no more fighting or any trouble. And it's and we're all in this weird afterlife world and we're, we're, we're united together and it's wonderful. Come, when you get a second, come out here and come say hi. Come out into this cloudy wonderland of joy and come talk to everybody. Glorcon's even here. Everyone's here. It's great. Oh, oh, oh I love it here. Oh, what a great ending. Oh, this is the best ending of any video game oh, I've ever seen. Oh, oh, there's never been a better ending. <laughs> oh, there's never been a better ending. Oh, oh. oh you're taking off? Okay, I, I can't I'll be, believe I'll be how right beautiful here. this place oh. is. Oh, oh, oh.